can't even get the ladder in position until I destroy some palm trees that are in the way of the footing. So I have to get my ladder in a very tight area, which means I have to take out one, two, and this bigger one up there to reach all the way up there. Well, hello. I'm here on the third story of a very fancy residence. Right there. So, I'm going to pull off the wooden trim, scoop out as much of the hive as I can, if there is any, seal back up, add bees. If you look up there, you can actually see the remains of an old nest, an old hive that was partially removed by a previous person, but they didn't get all of it, so I would consider that a crap job, in my opinion. But um, I'm not here to talk, I'm not here to get some bees. Our men to protect against bees. Ah, well, yeah, that pissed them off. That pissed them off, right, so. Oh boy. So bees really don't like anything in their hive. They also hate vibrations. And so putting a big old vibrating reciprocating saw into their hive and using it is a good way to piss them off. This is gonna suck. No way about it. No way around it. This is just flat out gonna suck hard, hardcore. Oh my god. The things I do for bees. So I'm up here, 30 feet still. These are uh, they have other plants, so I am unfortunately unable to give you a good lighted shot of the interior of the hive. And I really don't know what it looks like for you guys. But this, this is what we're dealing with here. Mostly brood comb, it looks like. I'm guessing the honey is in further inside and along the outer margins. And uh, this is a recurring hive. These folks have had this hive going on for three years. They've had other people try to take care of it. But other people didn't take out the comb, so just attracting them back again. So, it's the end of the job. Now it's just sorting the brood cone and the honeycomb. There wasn't much honeycomb this time around. Barely any at all, actually. Very, very little. The rest of the fruit.
what's more impressive than a talking llama? A spelling bee. Nah.